gets to um uh, if it gets to and you said man, you said it's much less confusing mm -hmm. yeah yeah this this what i'm learning now is way less confusing than what i than what i've been taught <laughs> And that was the support resistance. What yeah, other indicators did you use? Lord have mercy. Why waste it? So much money. Um, <laughs> so it was MACD. It was obviously moving averages are pretty good, but MACD, um, of course, trend lines, the, um, the RSI, the stochastic RSI, and you talk about divergence and then you're talking about, um, what Lord, which one? Um, well, I can't remember. Bollinger Bands. Um, <laughs> uh, what is another? Keltner Channels. <laughs> I never ever uh, know. what is, it? yeah, Magda. I mean, there's, man, <laughs> so, and it's so, so many. And I, I was trying to, and I was trying to get those things to tell me what, what the market is going to do. But I, I, like I said in my email, I noticed that at any time, I could see what it had did previously. If I was looking at it, just say the Bollinger Band, and it keeps it within that 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 bracket, it looks good once it's already done it. But it didn't help me with what what with what was going to happen next. Exactly. So I was always confused. It can tell you what happened it. before, but it can never tell you what's going to happen. Yeah. It just yeah, makes yeah. it more and more confusing. Are you focusing on the past or the future? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yep. That, wow. Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's it, sir. <sighs> man, this is, this is worth it. <laughs> Raise the game for me. Okay. So yeah. let's go back to USDJPY. My chart. I didn't want to use like eight different screens. I just want to open my chart, use one screen and trade. And that's it. <laughs> That's all you have to do. I don't want it, you know, I don't, yeah, I, yeah, that's what I, that's, that's, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs>